All right, y'all. We have quite a few problems. The first one being with this one. We have our first R32 GTR problem. Second one being with Susie. The last one, I'm gonna be completely honest on why I've been gone for so long. Our first problem is gonna be with Skyla, the GTR. So what happened was with this car, I blew a hose off the blow -up valve. I hope that's what it is. But in order to get to the blow -up valves, they're on the driver's side and they're behind the bumper. And Hopefully that problem will be a quick fix because uh, we also have to change the oil on the car and raise the rear suspension because as this car sits, it is way too low for my liking. The front, decent, not too bad, I don't hate it, but the rear, all that, that's gotta go. That stancy shit is a no-no for me. Susie, yes, Susie is now on the chopping block. We're not selling her, but that needs to go. I am now, I'm currently selling this front bumper, so if anybody in Southern California wants it, you know, feel free. I am selling it for $1,100 pickup only. I don't have a truck to ship it or send it or drive it anywhere, so it's on the car, but you know, it takes a few bolts to take it off. It's not even that hard. But yeah, I'm selling it. It's prepped underneath the wrap, so it's ready to be painted. The bottom is already painted black. It will be needed to be touched up, the paint, um, because I've had it on my car for a little bit. But yeah, the bumper is on the chopping block, so once that goes, the wrap will go and the rear bumper will need to be refinished and refiberglass because it's also broken. My reasoning for all of this is because I'm just trying to simplify my life. I'm tired of having things broken. I just want things to be simple, clean, and that's it. You know, I'm in a point in my life where I just want things to work. You know what I'm saying? And Susie worked and she would have been perfect um, but you know, just life happened and you know, that project kind of got put on the back burner for a period of time to where now, you know, that thing is over with, you know, I, I did that kit, you know, in hopes to grow the channel and it flopped terribly. I like the kit, um, but you know, content wise and personally wise, um, it's time to move on. The kit is perfect. The kit is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with the kit. It's just, you know, life happens and I'll explain more, um, in a little bit. Now, in order to take this front bumper off, never watched the tutorial, have no idea how to do it, but I think we have to start by taking out these corner lights. This is held on by clips, and this front bumper, we have no hardware at all supporting this, so I think I'm gonna leave the mustache on, and uh, underneath there might be some bolts, and behind the wheel right here there might be some bolts. So, I guess we're gonna figure it out with each other. Also, I bought some Rust-Oleum and some like brush shit to help kind of get a lot of this surface rust on the car off and clean. I did a practice run right here and it uh, looks pretty good. Kind of cleared out some of the paint a little bit, I guess, but I don't give a shit. I just want the surface rust gone. This was exposed like wire. This is looked like it was connected to some battery at some point for maybe like a sound system because it goes all the way into the car. That is gonna be one of the first things I need out of my engine bay because I absolutely hate that being. Ran into our first issue taking this bumper off. It shouldn't be hard, but I'm finding out how jankily my GTR has been put back together. So. This side marker light, easy, come off one bolt, it slides right out, get to that problem in a minute. This one, for some reason, this is unbolted, but it just won't come out, and I am afraid to yank it harder, because that one slid right out, easy. This one, no idea what it's stuck on, I don't want to break any clips, I don't want to have to find a replacement for that side marker at all. Also, there's no way these are OEM, can't be. I just refuse to believe that this is OEM. If it is, I'm wrong, that's cool. But second issue, this looks to be stripped to me because I can't take it out. And uh, luckily, what we have to get to is right back here. So hopefully I can get away with not having to take that off. But I have no idea how to take this bolt off. But maybe I can get to it from behind here. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna turn the wheel. 
undo that bolt and maybe I can flex it a little bit to find the hose down there because if y'all can see that right there is where the blow up valves are all right after me taking apart the bumper for absolutely no reason um well i guess it wouldn't be for no reason i found out that i'm missing over half of my hardware the good news is i found the culprit wasn't the blow up valve so we took all that apart for no reason and the I wouldn't have been able to take it apart because I'd have to break some clips anyways. Um, but I reassembled it, which is good. And the problem was right in front of my face. And for you RB experts or mechanics experts, you can probably already see what the problem is. Bow. This thing, this sucker popped off. And uh, this is why we have no boost right here. So I'm gonna undo these clamps, try to put this back together as best as I can order some better ones, better clamps, better silicone, whatever, and uh, then replace it at a later date. But for now, try to just put it back on, go for a drive and uh, see if we can hear the ch chs again. Am I qualified to work on this car? Absolutely not. Am I gonna do it? Absolutely. Because I fucking bought it. So we got it back on there pretty good. This clamp definitely needs to be replaced. Um, I'm gonna replace all of these actually, and, and this needs to be gone too. It's it's pissing me off, but it should be on there pretty good, in there pretty good. Let's go ahead, let's take her for a little test drive and uh, see if that fixed the problem. Start her up for the boys. Like a dream. Hey, Shuji. I didn't fix it. Oh wait, yeah, I did. Okay, okay. Look at me. Look at me fixing things. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Okay. I did a little show. What are you doing on the road, sir? Figure it out. Oh, I popped off again. Fuck! At least we know the problem. I think I'm gonna have to completely uh, replace those that clamp with a brand new one. It just that it's just old and crusty and dry. Quick outfit change, cause we are going to the DDE headquarters meet, their first ever meet tonight so that'll be in this video um but i kind of fixed it again i definitely have to replace that silicone cup or whatever but hopefully i just did like a temporary fix to where like the car is drivable at least you know until not that i'm gonna drive it but i just i just want it to be drivable so i'm setting up to go get a thumbnail right now and then i'm going to practice and then i'm going to test my temporary fix to see if it worked oh yeah oh y'all hear the roof There we go. She's back. She's fooling, yes sir. We are in Mexico right now. I heard those kids over there yell, it's a skyline. We'll see if they come over there then we'll show some love to the kids, but I gotta get my thumbnail. Seems to be okay, but this, this coupler, whatever it's called, needs to be replaced for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and order one, see what the homies say, but uh, She's as beautiful as ever. Y'all yeah, don't like Hellcats, right? Fuck no. Okay, wait. Bro getting yelled at by his mom. <laughs> Boy said this is a dream car. Go ahead, go ahead, sit in it. Now you sold. Now you have to buy one and be broke like me. <laughs> there you go. Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Cool kids, cool kids. Always gotta inspire the kids, man. Yeah, let's go ahead and get back home. She's, she is, uh, she's spooling. She's spooling good. Yeah, she's 
healthy. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, we have made it to, oh, shit. DDE meet DDHQ, and as always, we're gonna be JDM car spotting. Anything else, I don't give a shit about, but y'all might like it, so I'm gonna show y'all. Like, the beams, the beamsters, I can love, I can show respect to. And we also got Mrs. TYB right here looking beautiful as always, damn, baby. And we got Yam, Yam face, show the fit, show the fit, yeah, with the Evo on it. He said I can have it once I get my Evo, so that's giving me an incentive to buy my own Evo. You know what I'm saying? So one day, one day we'll have it. Type R. I am growing to really love these Type R's. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh. Sick at it. What the fuck? Why is that here? <laughs> Y'all check this right here. Geeky, thinky, thinky. What the fuck? Love these, love to see that. This motherfucker player. The SV in there. That's hard. Build GTRs. He wants merch. Him right here. Him with the yam on his face. Thanks for the merch. That's not <laughs> Oh god, I got free merch. It is hard. The pink ETR? Oh, me. Hey, I really got a free shirt. Had to go Randy Moss and snag it out the air real quick. Ooh, we for sure got to hit the hibachi truck, though. Should like a halo helmet. What even is this? This is not an Apollo. This really got a yam. Should look like a kill streak. <laughs> this should look like a skeeter eater. Look at the hips on that. Ew, it's a drop top. Damn it. This right here hard. Mm -hmm. I think it's really the wheels that I'm messing with on this. Don't even ask me what this Ferrari is called because I have no idea. This Porsche? Man, this is what I want, right? Yeah. We ever, we ever go crazy? I want this, right? Yeah. Yeah. That motherfucker got hard. This shit gangster right here. Porsche on me. If I would sell the Supra and then work for another four years, I'd be able to get one. Badass blank. This motherfucker since he got it. This shit player. Mm-hmm. Good shit, my boy. Ew. I don't know if I like that. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I like that. Okay. This is this is where I come to shine right here. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Right here. Bang. This motherfucker is sexy, boy. The 35? You show love to the 35 real quick till we get to the good stuff. This 35 is beautiful. You like you like the blue on this one? Yes. Yes. I hope hope to see you driving this. This this is the best car here. 100. percent This is the best car here. Let me go ahead and take some notes because as y'all know, earlier in today's video, we found a lot of stuff about the 32 that we need to fix. So let's go ahead and take some notes on his engine bay real quick. How come? Uh Huh? Yours looks nothing like this. Uh, because mine is antique. Oh. So we uh, we need one of these. We need to repaint our covers. My trigger kit or my timing, whatever, doesn't look like that. Um, doesn't look like that either. Yeah, we got a lot. He's got the Mishimoto, so we might take some notes on that. He's got the original seats. His interior is me. He's got to get rid of that the steering wheel, though. Yeah, this... This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, Susie, I miss, I miss you being, being white. Yeah, I think it's time, y'all. I think it's time we rip the wrap off and go back to stock. It's time to go back to the original. This, it just looks so much better, y'all. Not, I'm just over the body kit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just over the body kit. The time with it has come and uh, 
I like these wheels too. These wheels look real good. Guess what we found? Guess what we found? An Evo. This. Look, I want one so bad. Yo, I've been crying about not seeing the Evo for like 45 minutes. Damn, and the, bro, the GoPros are so horrible and light. Oh, I want an Evo so bad, y'all. This is 100% my next car. Not anytime soon, so don't expect me to buy an Evo. But, bro. I need this. What? What did you just say? I said that thing sucks. It sucks? It sucks. No. This is one of the best cars ever made. 